All right, welcome to Championship Saturday here for the Toyota Series on the Harris Chain. Sitting in fourth place going into this final day. Got five pounds, 11 ounces to make up over first place. Uh, as you guys can probably see, it is raining. We had some massive storms come through last night, had a bunch of rain come through. My boat's currently pumping out a bunch of water. I had like a foot of water in the boat, in the floor of the boat this morning, so we're pumping all that out. But uh, definitely some different conditions, and my camera's lens is probably all foggy, so. Definitely some dif different conditions uh, than we've had the previous two days. It's been pretty hot and sunny, um, but today's supposed to be rainy and overcast all day. So I've been catching them offshore, um, but with all this overcast conditions and stuff, I'm not sure if that bite's gonna play out like I want it to today. Uh, so we might have to go up shallow. Thinking about uh, putting a frog in my hand and just going up and down canals and seeing what we come up with with that. But definitely gonna try the offshore stuff because they they probably, they may still be out there. They'll just be roaming around a little bit, I think. So I might still be able to crank them up. We'll just have to get out there and see if they're, uh, if they're doing what I think they're gonna be doing or if we're gonna have to put the frog in my hand and, and go to work up in some canals. But uh, put this camera away, get out of the rain, get to the ramp. And uh, we're gonna need a 20, 20 plus pound bag to have a shot at this thing today. So we'll see what we can't do out there. Yeah, he's probably tall. Yes. I don't want him in the well at the end of the day though. <laughs> Oh, that's a big one. Thank you. He just slurped it under. I didn't even know if he had it. Four pounder. Mega. 
Ah, it's a mud fish. Put him in the net. Nah, I'll get him. There's shell everywhere here. There might be. <laughs> we caught quite a few here. In practice, me and my co-angler. I got one. First cast. <laughs> Makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> Still not near what I need to be, though. <laughs> what is up with these mud fish? Catch him, Flint? Yeah, did, did you? Yeah. No. Really? How'd you catch him? I only got. I only got ten. Well, the folks may know this next neighbor to the stage, Christian Greco out of Tampa, Florida. Went up boat number four this morning. Had 18.14 on day one, 17.9 on day two. As you know, the bar has been raised. Christian, we need 23 pounds, 10 ounces of bass. We know you can catch those kind of weights here. We've seen you do it before. You got five. Yeah, I got five, just not the right ones today. No kickers in the bag for day three. Your limit today, Christian, you're going to weigh 11 pounds even. Put you in 10th place right now, 47 7, Christian. Had a lot of success here this year. The Tackle Warehouse Pro Circuit a few weeks ago got the W there, man. A great week. Yep. And got another top 10 right now yeah, with a probably, few to go, man. Probably, probably not a top 10, but good week nonetheless. Top 25, no doubt, man. You see, you know all these hammers that's, uh, that you're up against this week. The local hammers, the, the Pro Circuit pros, they're all here, man. And the top 25, that's a pretty special week. Yeah, it's some pretty stout competition out here. I uh, just didn't get it done today. I was fishing brush piles offshore, uh, DT6, DT8, and DT10. And with that wind blowing today and that cloud cover, it just didn't set up right. Uh, caught a few small ones out there and then decided to abandon it. Went up shallow, caught two decent ones, but just didn't have enough bites today. Anybody back in Tampa watching, you want to say hey to you? Yeah, I'm sure my family and friends are watching back home. I appreciate you all the support. Congrats to you, man. Thank you, Mark. Great week. I should wait to take it right there, Christmas.